This is my first batch of rubber blunts that I've made, ever made up. I've just got a set of them out in the back here and we're going to see how they go against this small coke can. I was a bit worried about them being very, a very light arrowhead and making, them, making the balance weight of the arrow very true to, very true to center. But I've been shooting them out at the butts for a little while now and they seem to fly just as well as the steel points. I should say that these are being shot out of my 55 pound Fredbear recurve at a distance of about 10 yards, 10 to 15 yards, which is the about the right distance for a small game shot anyway. So as you can see, the rubber blunts have done a pretty good job in an eye on this coke can. I'm not a scientist, but I'm pretty sure that that kind of force on a rabbit or a small game animal is going to be pretty damn fatal. So this is the baseline I'm going to work with for a regular field point on impact. It's done what you'd expect, it's punched a small hole straight through and then entered the back of the can. So this is um, similar to what you get through an over penetration shot on if you were shooting at a rabbit. The problem with these points is if you're out in the bush, it's got the same likelihood to hit rocks and things and break your tip or dig into a tree or dig into the mud and you never find it again. While as not as wholly devastating to the tin of corn as it was to the tin of cola, that corn's still not having a good day. And I would 100% trust these against a small game target like a rabbit over a field point any day. Interestingly, while carrying out these rudimentary tests, the one of the arrows had the side blow out on it and it's cracked it and ob it was an old arrow and um, obviously it was a it was already an existing damage that's been stressed um, while hitting it but I hadn't really considered the idea that when an arrow hits and is bouncing back in the same direction it's coming from it's put under a lot less strain it's put under a lot more strain than what it would normally be if it just sticks and stays where it is. Um, it's, in, it's food for thought when it comes to like a minimum safe distance of firing them. If you don't want to snap your arrows, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be hit shooting at anything from say five yards. <laughs> 